Hey everyone, today we're going to install MySQL. First, we'll do MySQL community server, then work on MySQL workbench. And do a quick demo how to create database, table, and insert a record. Alright, let's start. Search for MySQL server download. Click download MySQL. There you go. See this note here about compatibility. For this, we're going to pick the latest version. Click download. And then click this link to start the download. Depending on your connection, it may take few minutes or more. Once downloaded, you can open it directly. Just double click to open. Click allow. And continue. You can spend time and read this or just simply click continue. Click agree if you do. Click install. Enter your Mac password and click install software to continue. I will leave this by default and click next to proceed. And here, put a good password. And remember it well, as this is your root password. You are going to use this every time you log into MySQL instance. Click finish. And again, enter your Mac password to allow it. There you go. My SQL server is now installed. Close. Close this and let's check the instance. We'll find it in the settings. And move the trash. You don't need it anymore. All right, here. And there you go, My SQL. And this is your MySQL server. This is the instance and configuration. This is the instance and configuration. Back here in the instance, you can stop the server and start it as well. All right. Okay, that is for the MySQL server part. Now let's move to downloading and installing MySQL Workbench. Start with downloading the Workbench installer. We are going to install 8.0.22 because the latest version had an issue running on Big Sur. Okay, click that. This is the latest version, 8.0.23, but had an issue, so let's go to the archives. Here, this is the prior version and should, and should work well with our server. Click download. Again, depending on your connection, it should only take a few seconds or a few minutes. Open. Drag it here. Now it should be in our launchpad. There you go. Okay, let's fix that. Click settings. Security and privacy. Click open anyway. Good, open. There you are. Welcome to my SQL workbench. Now let's get started. 
click this to connect to MySQL server and remember your root password enter that here and to log in okay and here we are this is the ID where you can create database or schema create tables as well as execute uh, SQL statements and many more use this to interact with MySQL server I'd like to administer your database and other related objects perform different activities and so on let me show you how to get started and create a database or a schema click create a new schema uh, just name it according to your convention Then click this apply to create. Apply. Now it's created. See this? Then set it as your default schema. Right click and click set. Good. Now let me show you how to create a table. Click this create a new table. Let's define our table. Maximize this first so we have uh, enough space. There you go. Name your table according to your convention again. There are other ways to create a table actually. But this time I'm just showing you one quick example. And here you define your columns. You have two ways to name your column. You just pick either. down here or you can do what click this you can simply tick this uh, tick these boxes accordingly set the column as primary key as unique and among others auto increment I will just speed up this I will just speed this up to complete Click apply once done. The table has been created. All right. Now let's try creating a query. Select, uh, select from your table. Execute, and there's no data yet. Of course, let's do an insert. I'll just pass forward it. It's just to demonstrate anyway. Right, execute. We just inserted a new row and let's check it out. Select, execute. There you go. We now have a single row of data in our table. All right, you have MySQL server installed and you have MySQL workbench installed. You're good to go. Thank you for watching.